Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on the Crossroads server. It's been quite a long time since I've been here, and many things have changed. So I want to show you what I've done in the meantime. I've been on a couple times on the server, but I didn't really get to do any recording. So I'm going to start off right away by showing you some of the things that have changed. And one of the things that has changed with the server um, and with my playing here is that Sally Green Gamer um, is no longer with us. Sally was in hardcore mode and died. No, not really, but she uh, has stopped playing in Minecraft and stopped doing some of her Roblox videos. So she's taking a little, quite a long break. And so it's just uh, a me here. So I reorganized uh, this area for some storage. So it's a little makes more sense to me. And uh, I've done some other things around the area. One of the things I did do is I went to a shopping district and they did have an Elytra that I could buy. And I spent pretty much all my diamonds. I think I only have these four diamonds left. But I do have an Elytra and some rockets, so I can now fly around, which is really cool. Uh, so we're going to show you some more things that I've done in, in the meantime. So uh, I don't even have an automatic door. This house is, uh, this has got to be changed at some point. But um, got to get cut down trees. There's so much i got to do. Um, I did make some water elevators back here. This is a water elevator up, and this goes all the way down. You jump down there, and hopefully there's some water down there. I'm not sure. Uh, but down there is where I can do get to my mine. And then uh, let's go over to this area here. Well, oh, I can fly. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to have to get rid of the wind sounds, I think. Um, but over here is an iron farm that I have created so that I can get iron because I don't have a big mountain. And I've found that I don't get very much iron. Uh, but anyway, I did this also. It's a very simple design. Basically, you can see over there, there is a zombie that gets being pushed up and it scares the villagers. And every periodically, they will spawn a um, iron golem, pushes them into the lava like that one right there. And they get burned and their eye drops go into this little chest over here. Um, and then from down here, this is where I have my villager breeder. Um, and they are doing really well. Um, I can turn this off when I need to. Um, it's pretty easy. Just like doing that blocking it off so they stop making villagers but we have a bunch in here that we can uh use for whatever we need so that's kind of nice so um i have not been on here for quite a while uh my resources like i said are pretty uh dire i only have four diamonds and i don't even have diamond armor yet um so i really need to get some more resources so what i think i'm going to do guys i think i'm going to go down into the mines and do some mining i have a chance to do that right now um right now only kylecraft is on so i mean you know we may be able to find some stuff we may be able to get some mobs down there while we're doing uh, some caving and things but i really need to get resources i need lots of resources because i want to start doing some big projects i want to get some things done i i, I honestly don't know exactly what i want to do I, I, I never know what I'm going to do, but um, yeah, I need resources to do it. I do resources. Hi, B. Hi, B. <laughs> I, the beam reminds me. I need a honey farm, too. So, I mean, just there's tons of things that I need to do, and I really need to get some resources started. So I thought just to help me get back in the groove, I am going to do some mining with a pickaxe. I might have to get a better pickaxe, too. Wow. Oh, feels like I'm starting over, sort of. Okay, um, anyway, let's go get some stuff ready to go down into the mine. I decided to go over to the shopping area, uh, which is right here at night. Probably not a safe thing. Hopefully it's lit up pretty well. It looks like it is. Um, I came over here to this shop. Um, it looks like it's got books. I was looking for a fortune book. I've only got four diamonds to spend. And I see fortune, and it says three of these. I don't know if these are houses or stars. Uh, they look like houses to me, but they're probably stars. But fortune, three, it has three stars. It's not like silk touch two. There isn't a silk touch two. So the two is definitely like a price. So this is three uh, houses or stars. Now when I go here, one star is worth one diamond. So that means I can get a fortune book with three uh, diamonds. So I'm going to uh, grab one and put that there. So that works out now. Is there an anvil here that I can work with? And do I have enough to add it to my pick? This is not a great pick. I do. So, but now I have a fortune three pick. That was really loud in my ear. Hopefully it wasn't as loud in your ear. We'll see. I'm still trying to get some of the balancing done of the sound. So uh, that's good. So now I'm going to have to uh, go back to uh, my base and start to head down towards the mine. I am down in my mine, and you can see I've gone off in this direction. I might go off in that direction or this one. I don't know which one I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to start mining here. Now I do have with me a shulker box. So I should be able to carry a lot more gear with me or items that I find. And of course, something the crafting table to build stuff and some wood. So I've got plenty of resources. I think the problem might be with the food and the torches. So 
you know, might that might limit how far I have to go. Also, my pick is, you can see it's not doing great. It's very low uh, durability. So we may have to come back just to make another pick. Or if I get some diamonds, I can make a pick on the way and just put them together. Um, try to fix them. Well, I can't really fix them that way. I guess I'd have to go up to the anvil and do that, right? Anyway, um, yeah. So normally I would say, hey, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing right now, and you got to put your guess of how many things that I get and blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to do any, like, uh, little clips or any uh, time lapses or anything. I'm just going to cut to uh, when I get back. But what I would like you to do before I do that is take a moment here. Put down in the comments what you'd like to see me do on the Crossroads server. What kind of builds would you like to see? I'm thinking of some things that I would like. But I would like to know what you, the audience, the viewer, would like to see uh, that I do here on the Crossroads server, okay? So take a moment. Pause the video. Go down there. Put that down in there. Let me know what that is. And uh, when I get back here, we'll uh, see what I get for resources. All right, guys. I am back from my mining session. And I uh, did find some diamonds pretty much right away. And I went back and made another pick. And I made a Silk Touch pick, Tinker's Silky. And I also have Tinker's Fortunate, which is over in uh, the, the storage area over here. I think it's over here. And that one is also pretty much decked out. So I had some diamonds enough to make these and to buy the books that I needed to make that work. Um, but after that, uh, this is what we got from the, the mining session. We've got a bunch of redstone, some gold, a little bit of iron, and we still have 20 more diamonds. So we definitely did pretty well on diamonds considering what I had to spend. Also got a bat's head. And that's pretty cool. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I've got some ideas, but I need to do some research. And I also need to uh, basically go and do some looking around the server for a spot for something I think I might want to do. So let me go do that now. And hopefully when I get back, uh, I'll have a better plan. So I've spent some time gathering all the resources I need, and I have them all in those chests over there, my mini chest monster. But I need what I calculated to be about 21 stacks. Yes, I said stacks of the brown mushrooms. So I've got some here, and I've set up this little system right here. Basically, a bunch of hoppers to catch the brown mushrooms, and a, a piece of uh, dirt up here, a larger piece, as you can see, that just keeps the light level at a place so that we can actually plant the mushrooms and have them uh, be growing and then cut them down. And all the hoppers lead into here uh, for me to... Uh, you know, use later on. So we got to get what I said was 21 of these. So 18 would be two rows. So, and three more. Once I have that many uh, stacks, we should be good for uh, the farm that I'm going to make. Now, this is pretty easy to use. So all I do is I go up here and I put down a mushroom, like just like that. And then I bone meal it. And thankfully I have a skeleton farm. So I have a lot of uh, bones. And then you just kind of grab all the stuff, right? Like this. Works pretty quick, nice and quick. Get rid of this part here. And then I might be picking up some things, but also they go into uh, the chest here. So with that, we just keep on going until we have 21 stacks. Once I get all that I need, I'll take this down. Of course, we can use hoppers and lots of other builds. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, getting brown mushrooms. Yeah, this will take a bit. Well, that didn't take too long. It took about, I would say, two and a half to three Minecraft days. So maybe half an hour to 40 minutes or so. And I have now there's eight, nine, 18. 19, 20, 21 stacks, and a little bit more of the brown mushrooms. And that is fantastic. So what is the plan? Now, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in this video because I've been recording this over a couple of days. But I'm going to try and make the slime farm that Il Mango recently featured on his channel that uses uh, a slime farm built in the swamp instead of digging a big pit. I thought I would try that. One of the key features of that, though, is that you usually need to use uh, brown mushrooms. Uh, so I have those. So I need to figure out... It's going to be placed out there in this little area. I got to figure out the right Y level uh, to build it. And then I'm going to start to build that and get it all done. So um, I am not going to do a time lapse, guys, because I'm still trying to get my uh, system reconfigured and uh, working the way I want it. So I really don't have the means to do that. Um, you know, I don't have my second camera account. I don't have the replay mod set up here correctly. So I'm just going to build it. And uh, in just a couple seconds, you're going to see, hopefully, a slime farm that works. All right, guys, the farm is finished. You can see it right up here. It looks pretty cool. It is a dual layer design. Again, this is by Il Mango. And check out his channel. You can see his video there. Uh, he's got a couple of videos that describe some various changes and things you can do to optimize this even more. Uh, I went with this two layer design. It works really well. Um, I did do a quick test of about 15 minutes sitting at that AFK spot way up there. 
And uh, when I did that, you can see here, I got this many blocks worth of slime. I even found that my one hopper wasn't fast enough uh, to uh, get everything into the chest. They were just sitting here floating. Um, so I added this, so that should be uh, picking up all the slime in the various areas. So basically, if you've seen the design uh, inside of here, there are a bunch of brown mushrooms, which keep the light level at level one, which allows slime to spawn. Like there's one that's, that looks like it spawned over there. And there, I can see it just popped up over here. Anyway, the slime spawn, uh, and they had try to head toward iron golems, which I don't know if you can see it, but they're right in the center here. Uh, when they get there, they fall into a little pit, which is actually below the water level here. Um, that was a little bit tricky, but then um, when they die on magma blocks, uh, the uh, slime gets pushed to the center, and then it basically gets flowing through this little t tube over to here and into uh, these chests, okay? So you can see it's got some in this chest right here already. So I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to do another 10 minute, um, maybe, maybe 10 minute of an AFK session just to see what we get in 10 minutes. And so I'm going to go on up to the top there and, and do this and we'll see what the results are, okay? Let me go get up there and we'll start the clock. I'm up here in my cage. I got about a minute left. Just taking a look at the view out here. It looks pretty cool. I love the new terrain generation that we have that's in 118. 119 is out. We haven't updated here uh, yet. We will be uh, soon, but it's just so cool. I did take this little corner of the swamp area. I got as much, far over as I could so that there's other builds can be done in the swamp that are necessary. So, um, yeah, and there you can see the little pickup mechanism. Let's go on down. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm not an exact timer, but let's go see what's going on. And we'll fly on down. Here we go. I wondered where the wind was. And a little spin move. You can see this. Look at all the slime balls just popping up here. This farm is just killing things right, left, and right. You can see some slime jumping around in there. So it hasn't really even finished yet. It will be shortly, though. But let's look what we got. Ready? Nothing in the first chest. So basically, this first chest is worthless. Probably because it jumps over. I might have to make a change there. But that was in 10 minutes of time. And you can still see it's going. Now, if it can't pick up for some reason, it sometimes will overflow into this one. And we have these as well. Wow. So let's take some of this back here that into here so you can look at that we almost got almost three stacks worth or three three stack three rows which is 27 it's still coming in i wonder how much is in that that particular hopper so yeah basically full chest's worth or not a double chest a single chest worth of uh, slimes in about 10 minutes of this farm now this is dependent on the moon phase i'm not sure what moon phase this currently is in but um you know it averages out to be about what it would be when you have like half a moon phase right of course, you don't get very much when it's completely dark. And when you get a full moon, you get a full amount of, of the slimes spawning. So this is uh, really nice. And it's great to have a bunch of stuff here. Wow, it's still coming in. It's amazing. That's This hopper can't keep it. There's some more. See, look at that. It just keeps on coming. I can still see a slime bouncing in there. Look at that. See that? That's is awesome. Well, guys, I think this is going to be it for the video. Um, I have had some technical difficulties, and I still have to get my system back up to snuff because of I've been away for so long. So you please forgive me for no time lapses or any type of, like, you know, third camera, third person camera. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> camera account stuff, replay mods, none of that stuff. I don't really have all that really working yet um, the way it's supposed to. So I did what I could. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.